Welcome to Nailbuzz ID Network. I'm your host, Katie Failinger, and here on the ID Video channel, you'll see exclusive interviews from change makers and key voices within independent brokerage distribution. Nailbuzz CEO Dan LeBert recently sat down with Martin Schaefer, Vice President of National Accounts with John Hancock Life Insurance. Have a listen. Martin, tell us a little bit about Hancock's commitment to independent distribution as well as the company history. Yeah, thanks, Dan. Uh, first of all, it's a pleasure to be here. Really appreciate you taking time with me. John Hancock's commitment to third-party distribution. We are a brokerage company. Mm -hmm. we, we have a long history of, of being uh, an organization that primarily sells life insurance in the U.S. through brokerage. You know, I, I expect my successor, my successor's successor, managing the national accounts uh, to also run the same type of organization. Sure. A lot of independent advisors following the Nelba ID network, over 200,000 independent advisors, 1,400 brokerage general agencies. 2020 has a lot going on. Everybody is getting their menu of options out in front. Um, talk a little bit about what are the priorities for Hancock in 2020 and what should the advisors and agencies be looking uh, to hear more about or uh, can Lee be, uh, be a priority for them when, when it comes to Hancock? Sure. Uh, well, first and foremost, you know, as a, as a primary and, and, and top five life insurance distributor in the U.S., mm -hmm. we have to have a core portfolio that delivers the needs of both consumers and advisors in, in the U.S. market. Mm -hmm. So, you know, our ongoing primary commitment is to be that, to be a carrier that can deliver that type of value to both the, the advisors and the, their clients. Uh, in addition to that, I think what we at Hancock think is absolutely pivotal is that we innovate and we innovate not in just you know, a little bit of uh, enhancements to a product here or there, but truly innovate in mm -hmm. terms of how we create a buying experience, uh, in terms of the front end uh, you know, technology investments that, that are you know, probably ongoing permanently. Sure. Uh, but also, what does that, uh, what does the client experience look like uh, you know, typically, if you were, if Brooks were sitting here, he would say, "Hey, the, the typical engagement with with a life insurance company for a consumer is, is a privacy notice and a death claim." Sure. Um, you know, we want it to be much deeper than that. If you look at what we've done over the last five years with Vitality, uh, let's jump into that. You know, sure. if you if you don't mind me uh, interrupting, Vitality, Aspire, these are two, in my opinion game-changing products for the life insurance industry. Sure. Um, if, and and I, I know I stopped you midstream there, but yeah. this is important, especially Aspire. I think that is, uh, is single-handedly an additional life changer to people who need life insurance. Sure, well, Vitality, um, you know, that platform, that partnership with Vitality mm -hmm. has really created a, a, an opportunity for clients to dramatically influence their buying experience throughout the life of the policy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, our, our net producer uh, score, our uh, engagement goes up uh, 40 times on average a month. Uh, a higher net produce, promoter score, excuse me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, typically the life insurance experience has a negative net producer, net promoter score, excuse me, in the mm -hmm. marketplace. Mm -hmm. If you look at clients who engage Vitality with John Hancock, it's in the 20s and 30s. Uh, so, so the client experience and what they're able to do to improve both their, uh, their health mm -hmm. uh, and their wellness and ultimately their mortality, which we're not shy to say is a benefit to us as well, right. is transformative uh, to that consumer. Uh, if you look at Aspire, so that's Vitality, if you look at Aspire as, as a, a platform that we've created for people currently living with diabetes, sure. uh, I mean, if you look at the, the diabetes uh, you know, epidemic, frankly, in the United States. There are 30 million folks living with diabetes in the United States. There are nearly 80 million folks uh, who are pre-diabetic in the U.S., and we see that as a, a, as a massive consumer need. Uninsured or underinsured. Correct. Uh, and, and frankly, the, your point that most of those people, if you look at how the ADA engages their, their member base, mm -hmm. don't believe, Dan, that they can, that they can get life insurance. Right. Uh, it's actually quite the opposite. Not only is it quite the opposite, we have a long history of underwriting folks living with diabetes uh, incredibly well, and we think that this gives them the opportunity as they enhance and treat and, and, and deal with that um, disease, frankly, while they're living with diabetes, uh, that they can improve both their pricing, their mortality, and, uh, and, and, and their user experience with life insurance. I want to go back to Vitality. Um, I mentioned the word game changer, right? There's, and there's a, uh, a word that I'll throw out is, is the gamification of, of getting people to engage. Sure. You guys have 
you guys, as far as John Hancock, have some great stories about how, how Vitality has saved some people's lives just because of that engagement through the, through the watch or, or, or through their, their tracking. But um, can you expand a little bit on that? Sure. I mean, those stories are, are, are I think that's the, the tools the advisors need to hear about when they're out pushing product. No, Dan, great, great uh, softball. That's yeah. a great point. I yeah. mean, it, it, uh, you know, there's no, there's no better social good than what Vitality can provide to consumers in, in, in a situation where it saved a life. And we did have a situation where somebody sent uh, a communication to our president and CEO, Brooks Tingle, that we had a client who had gone in to get their regular health checkup to, to you know, because you get points for, right. for, you know, doing that on an annual basis. And, and one of the things that was recommended in the point options, in addition to that health checkup, was a mammogram. Uh, that, that client went and, you know, was like, hey, I think it's, uh, off the top of my head, I think it's 300 points mm -hmm. for that. They went and did that, and they, they did detect early mm -hmm. uh, cancer. And uh, you know, ultimately, that's that's how powerful this is, is that you could have a client that would, for no other reason, and with any other type of insurance, life insurance policy, have have done that, uh, do that as a result of this vitality program, and ultimately potentially save their life. Well, um, I'm not just uh, the CEO of Nelba, right? I'm also a fan of that type of lowering the uh, engagement to increase it. Um, you know, lowering the engagement block, people who. Um, are, are stuck around technology and they're able to engage with their life insurance carrier and, and better, better their lives. Or having a condition such as being uh, uh, diabetes and being able to uh, not only live that healthy lifestyle but secure the future of their loved ones. And that's, and that's really what it's down. So let's jump into, um, Hancock has a worldwide footprint. Sure. Um, it's, it's not just uh, where they are, but Advisors, they, they work with a lot of different carriers. They hear, they see all the different kinds of promotion. I want to give them the opportunity to know more about what Hancock is doing in the community sure. around their charitable efforts. Yeah, thanks. Uh, again, a, another powerful story for us. We're a Boston-based company. Mm -hmm. uh, for 34 plus years, we have uh, been an active uh, supporter of the Boston Marathon. Mm -hmm. It is, uh, without a doubt, the most predominant uh, marathon in the U.S., if not the world, mm -hmm. and uh, our partnership with the Boston Athletic Association has raised well in excess of $372 million over mm -hmm. the last 34 years. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, in 2019 alone, um, we were able to, through our employees and, and our participation in the marathon, to raise $14 million. Mm -hmm. All of that money goes back into the, to the community, and, uh, and, and it's a it's a wonderful event. Uh, it's a, it's a transformative event, and yeah. we're we're ecstatic it's to be impressive. partners with them. So um, let's use that word community. There is the independent distribution community, and sure. the voice of independent broker distribution has and always will be Nelba. Uh, for years, uh, twenty going on twenty nine years, uh, Nelba's annual meeting is is the place where brokerage meets. Uh, Hancock has always had a large presence there. Mm -hmm. There's always the senior leadership team. Sure. Brooks Tingle was uh, on our main stage last year as part of a CEO panel. Um, I'd like to know a little bit about why. Why does Hancock uh, look at Nelba's annual meeting and make the decision to continue that support and invest every year? Well, Dan, as we opened up our conversation today, you know, you asked us about our commitment to independent distribution. Right. You know, we are an independent distribution company and will continue to be. And uh, it, it would make complete sense for the organization that represents independent distribution to be closely aligned with our values and, and our desire to support this marketplace. Uh, there's no better place for us to be aligned and to spend time than with you as as the organization that's you know I thought it was me personally the, than you Dan <laughs> than, than the cohort that supports our 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 distribution Absolutely. partners and to be at that meeting where they're all present that's an incredibly powerful time for us to spend with all of those distributors uh, to show our shared support yeah. uh, in our in, in in our you know commitment to consumers in the marketplace and uh, how we can collectively do that to better to to better the organization to better our industry, better align how we uh, you know, distribute our products. Well, the, the continued support is very much appreciated and uh, 
just uh, again, kudos to Hancock for taking a leadership role in, in uh, securing the future of, of many families. So yeah, thank you thanks for your time. So much, Dan. Watch for new videos in the ID Network every week at nailba.org. And be sure to follow us on social media. We've linked all the places you can find Nailba below. And don't forget to save the date for the next annual meeting. Nailba 39 happens November 18th through the 20th in Hollywood, Florida. We've got those details for you below as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here soon.